Why, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is us, Monk Dolphin speaking, and I'm back and ready to present another commentary. So, while I was searching for a decent story to tell, someone gave me a link to this particular rant about that guy with the glasses.com made by a guy named Derek Inuyasha. And this is a two part rant, but I just want to focus on the second part because that's where I found the most material, and because it's almost as long as the Orion broadcast supposed one shot on CS Bob 447. And with that out of the way, let's begin, shall we? A lot of videos ago, um, I did a rant on that guy with the glasses, okay? Now, I'm just gonna pause the video here and ask, who can take a guy who looks like Ozzy Osbourne dressed up as one of those minor guys from Mega Man seriously? Well, I assume no one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my usual Alka avatar change, so that way I can keep a straight face throughout the rest of this commentary. Mainly, I mentioned, you know, all the people on that guy with the glasses, and that their reviews sucked, mainly. And the only people that I liked was Angry Joe, and Cinema Snob, and Linkara. Also, I forgot to mention Erod. Okay, I like him as well. But yeah, this is Derek Yasha, and today I'm going to make a rant part two. That guy with the glasses, okay? Mentally, what this video was going to mention, okay, what this video was going to mention is pretty much the website itself and, you know, um, Doug Walker and Rob Walker wanting a lot of money just to meet them. Also, then Kara, a dumbass. But didn't you claim that you liked his content anyway? And mainly, I think that's it. Alright, so first things first, alright, the problems with the website, that guy with the glasses, um, the website can give you a lot of viruses, okay, seriously, like, if you don't have an Apple computer, if you probably have, like, a Dell or HP or anything like that, of course you're going to get viruses on your PC or your laptop. Okay, I'm just saying, though, you are going to get viruses, no matter what it is, okay? But you won't get a, a virus on an Apple computer or Apple laptop. So, yeah, the only way that you can go on that guy with the glasses is if you have an Apple computer or Apple laptop. Yeah, I recently went to thatguywiththeglasses.com, and while on my computer it's an extremely laggy site like Blip, I haven't gotten any viruses from it, so unless you can provide some contradicting evidence, your claim is highly questionable. Okay, but that website, you know, you got full of ads and this and that. Of course you're going to get viruses on your regular computer. But the only way that you could watch them is on YouTube anyways. So what's the use of even going on that guy with the glasses? Well, yes, you could say that, but keep this in mind. There are other reviewers on that site whose newer content isn't regularly uploaded onto YouTube. For example, there's Todd in the Shadows, Nostalgia Chick, Diamanda Hagen, the list goes on. Plus, probably now, they probably want a $40 fee, okay, or $40 just to sign up. That's what I fucking heard. Probably even more than that, okay? Seriously, like, why the fuck would I give $40 or $50 just to join their website? No, I'll pass, okay? Seriously, I'll pass. What, just to comment on their videos? Seriously? Oh, you think that's bad? You should see what Google did to the comment section on YouTube. And it's really hard to get on that guy with glasses. As you have to review the same way like they review. And have the same kind of type or tone in, the vo in your voice. Okay? Seriously, just to get on that guy with glasses. Yeah, not interested. Skip! Alright, um, another thing. Um, what I heard is they want a lot of money, okay? Seriously. I mean, for you to sit down and eat with them, they want 50 
something thousand dollars or whatever the fuck it was, I forgot, okay? Not only that, they, they won a lot of money from you. And also, I remember that they were starting a Kickstarter for 75000 or something like that. I don't exactly remember. I'm sorry, okay? Because I can't keep up with that. And, of course, Path of Oblivion is going to point out something that I can't remember jack shit, but, oh, I can remember stuff from Bram Stoker's Dracula or Mar. Whatever, who cares? Seriously, who cares? But all I'm saying is, how the fuck do you want me to keep up with all of that? All I know is they're fucking egg beggars now, and of course that the fact that they're fucking rotten, okay? Hey, Derek, you want to know what other big names do that? Wikipedia and PBS, and that's because they were always run on money from other people. Not only that, but you claim that the advertisements from this website cause nothing but viruses, which would prompt a lot of people to use Adblock, not see the ad, and thus that guy with the glasses wouldn't make a lot of money from the ads. So if that happened, then they would have to rely on the next best thing, which is in fact people's donations. Let alone if you go to a convention, a horror convention, you have a thousand dollars with you, right? And I assume all of you do. But you spend $500, you know, getting autographs, you know, getting props from the movie, whatever, you know, or whatever it is, a picture with whoever, okay? But these guys are not even famous. They're only famous on the internet. But wouldn't that technically still make them famous? And they want a lot of fucking money from you, okay? So what, they want 35000 just to sit with them and eat, okay? And they want this much so you could talk with them for 30 minutes? No, that's trashy, that's stupid, okay? I'm just saying though, that's trashy, that is stupid, okay? I'm just saying though, it's so fucking dumb and stupid. Like, you gotta actually fucking think. All right, movie stars are not even that low, okay? They just come to conventions, they sign an autograph, they take a picture with you, and, of course, they talk with you. And, you know, they talk with you for free, okay? But the rest you have to pay for. But it should not be the other way around, okay? Like fucking Doug Walker and Rob Walker are fucking doing. Seriously. <sighs> See, that's, that's what I don't like, okay? They're so fucking fake, but yet they do shitty reviews and this and that, whatever, okay? I can make better fucking reviews and better content, content what they could fucking make. Look, I don't mind if you don't like Doug Walker's reviews, but at least when he's the nostalgia critic, he uses a script to plan out what he's going to say beforehand, so that way he doesn't look like a guy who constantly stutters, repeats himself, and lacks any solid evidence to back up his claims. Okay, then what they could fucking make. Alright, look, I'm trying to bust my ass here to make good-ass reviews and good-ass videos, but what are they doing? They're just doing it for money. Okay? Seriously, that, that's what I'm going to point out right now. They are doing it for money. They have got to have money. Yeah, because really, you need money to make a website. No, you could have a secondary job, okay? You could have a real job instead of that guy with the glasses. Okay. And you see what I mean? It's it's filled with a bunch of morons. Okay? Seriously. The only people that I liked was Angry Joe and Cinema Snob and Lin Cara. I mean, I have to get on Lin Cara's ass right now. Alright, I lost a little bit of respect for the guy after seeing that fucking video, the ad revenue shit. Alright? Mainly, he's blabbering in the video. Blah, 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 blah. Unlike me. <coughs> okay, 
Seriously, like, my god, man, these people are so dumb. And they gotta have fucking issues, too. Also, the Spoonie one thing, because he's included, yes, he is included with that guy in the gl with the glasses, okay? Yes, I know, the guy is fucking psycho. He's loony. He made a fucking rape joke or whatever. Something about a girl. But yet, those fucking dumbasses took it way too seriously, and he's banned from that guy with the glasses. Then, why the fuck did you bring them to that guy with the glasses in the fucking first place? Okay, I'm gonna be really honest here. Just because it's a joke doesn't excuse the fact that it may be offensive to a single person or, hell, maybe a group of people. And even though I can tolerate these type of jokes okay, I'm at least willing to accept the fact that there are others who aren't as tolerant of these jokes as I am. And plus, there are women who work for that site who might not have felt comfortable with Spoonie when he did that. Okay, seriously, Doug Walker. That does not make no fucking sense. Whatsoever. Seriously, I, I just don't fucking understand you people. Okay, seriously, I mean, my fucking pinky and all of my fingers have more intelligence then you fucks at the gut, gut, that guy with the glasses. Okay, so you're getting me pissed off where I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about here. Haven't you been doing that throughout the entire video anyway? Okay, but I'm serious though. Like, my god, man, I'm not gonna even lie, like, Angry Joe's reviews are getting a little bit stale. Okay, Linkara's reviews. Yes, even though that I lost respect for the guy, his reviews are okay, they're decent, okay, what do you want from me? Alright, and Sin of the Stob is still going on well, okay? Seriously. And of course, Erod is still going on well. But as for everyone else, they fucking suck. Doug Walker sucks, okay? Whoever um, is the girl that's, uh, whatever, nostalgia chick, I don't give a shit about her. Okay, the only time I'll give a shit about her is when she puts her hair down and she's sexy as hell. That's it. Because other than that, she's a washed up reviewer. Okay? Look, I can name a bunch of people that's better than that guy with the glasses people. Alright? So, you know, Matt. Matt is fucking better. Rambo Rap for Life. Okay? Mike. OCP Communications is a lot better, alright? Helsing920, Emer or Emmer, however the fuck you say it, he's a lot better, alright? Ladies and gentlemen, are you starting to notice a pattern with these reviewers? Well, if you haven't figured it out, allow me to explain. You see, he never gives us reasons as to why these reviewers are better than everyone on thatguywithglasses.com. And if you're not going to give us reasons, then why should we watch these people? Or if you don't want to explain, then why not put links to their channels in the description? I mean, it's not like it goes against any of YouTube's guidelines, so this should be really easy to do. Okay. Hell, as for other people that is talented on YouTube and trying to bust their ass to make good reviews, is more talented than these fucks that that guy with the glasses okay i'm just fucking saying though like it doesn't it just doesn't make no fucking sense okay seriously so what you only have four people that are good and the rest is just trash well ladies and gentlemen now that the rant's finished it's time for me to give my final thoughts now, for starters, this video is the quintessence of the old phrase, improv and rants don't mix. Why? Because throughout this entire video, he constantly repeats himself over and over and over again. Not only that, but he also stutters a hell of a lot as well to the point where it gets in the way of him trying to present his arguments. Oh yeah, and uh, here's a tip. When you're making a claim, try and back it up with solid evidence so at least it looks like you're not making this crap up as you go along. Anyway, that's all I gotta say. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Azamon Godalfan signing out.